Another show of support right here in South Florida for Cubans. Local Dan's Annalise Garcia joins us from Miami to tell us about a group delivering supplies by boat. People have been arriving here to Pelican Harbor Marina since yesterday. We've seen them arriving today, some with supplies to take over. Others just say they want to be as close to Cuba in case something happens. One group tells us that they made it out pretty far, but they were stopped and told to turn around. People arriving to Pelican Harbor Marina in Miami bringing supplies to take over to Cuba by boat. Things like water, food and medicine, essentials their loved ones and others are lacking. We're not going to trespass waters, but we're going to be there to support. Henry Diaz is one of the many collecting goods. These groups plan to take to the Florida Straits by boat, 12 miles off the coast of Cuba. They tell us this is all to support the Cuban people who are suffering. Diaz and others like Darian Suarez, who still have relatives on the island, say they plan to drop off supplies if permitted. We get enough boats and we get a permit and stuff that we could go into Cuba and help them out, take medicine, take supplies. These two men met this morning by the boat ramp. I just met him. I just say, hey, bro, what are you doing right here? No, I'm going to go to Cuba. You have a boat? Yes. All right, let's go. They plan to get as close as they can to Cuba. ¿Cuál es la causa de? But without the help of the U.S. government, all these people trying to make a trip over say it'll be difficult. Biden, please hear us. Hear us. The U.S. Coast Guard tells us that they are fully aware that these trips are happening and that they will be closely monitoring them. I'm in Miami, Annalise Garcia, Local 10 News. Anna